Hello and welcome to Backyard Food Guide. What I'd like to do today is to talk about a variety of zucchini called the Astia zucchini. And this one is quite special because you're actually able to grow it in a container. As you know, most varieties of zucchini can get quite large and require a large garden bed because the vines ramble and travel a little bit away from the plant. Whereas, as you can see by the picture, you can notice that the zucchini actually grows right at the base of the plant itself, which means that we're able to put it either in a pot or into small garden beds. And as long as you have six hours of sun per day, this actually grows quite nicely in either a container or, or a garden bed. So this is a French bush zucchini that is non-rambling and it grows, as you can see from the picture, an abundance of zucchinis, approximately four or five inches long, and they're actually really delicious. They're perfect for sauteing or to steam, for example and a really such a nice flavor for this particular zucchini. So what I have here is a seedling that I started from seed and it took about 10 days to get to the size and then eventually I'm going to transplant it into a large pot. The seeds that I used would be the Renee Gardens seed and this is the container Astia hybrid and there were approximately I think about 15 seeds in this packet. So what I did was to start the seedling indoors and once it sprouted I put it outside to be hardened off and this is now ready to put into containers. So what we'd like to do is to use fresh potting soil if you're going to grow in a container. The idea there is that it's better to have sterilized soil so that you're not introducing any kind of diseases or pests into a small container space. What I would recommend is that you use a terracotta or ceramic pot, something that is porous because these plants tend to have fairly long tap roots. So if there isn't enough breathing space or if it becomes waterlogged, the roots can easily rot. So what I would recommend is a pot about 15 inches in diameter minimum and then also about 12 inches deep at minimum. So probably a little bit bigger would be better, but I think that this Astia zucchini would grow well in a pot of that size. What you wanna do once you have transplanted to the pot, if you're growing from seed, I would actually recommend putting maybe two or three different seedlings into one pot and then once the seedlings become three to four inches high, what you wanna do is pick out the weaker ones. I know it's hard to do that once you've um, nurtured them from seed, but it gives your plant the best chance if you put in a few rather than just one. So once you have the one, you wanna make sure that you're keeping it well watered and at least minimum six hours of sun per day. And the advantage of a container is that even if your general garden is in a shady area, chances are you're able to move the container throughout the day or to a position that gets six hours of sun per day. And this zucchini is fairly fast growing. It becomes fruit you can harvest in 48 days. Once it's planted, I recommend that you mulch in order to keep the moisture in and to fertilize at least once a month, once the flowers have come into place. So all summer long, check to make sure that the plant doesn't get too dry or too wet. You don't want it to be waterlogged. And you can harvest the zucchinis when they're about four or five inches long. To further prevent any pests, you can also 
companion plant nasturtiums in the same pot or even parsley and with container gardening even putting those kinds of plants close to your container so it doesn't necessarily have to be in the same container even close will be helpful so happy growing with the astia zucchini thank you for watching this video please like or subscribe if you enjoyed the video